Hello, this is Andre Avolet, CEO of Jetoptera. Jetoptera celebrates today the fourth anniversary of our first fully autonomous flight test using a representative J2000 subscale VTOL model with electric ducted fans, or EDFs, and executing a mission that included the vertical takeoff, transition to forward flight, high speeds, hover, and vertical landing. The mission was entered using an iPad. You can see the model attaining an altitude of 100 feet from vertical takeoff in less than 20 seconds, then accelerating to 60 miles per hour forward speed in less than a minute. The subscale model is representative to the airframe in its unique four thrust points, two vectoring rear thrusters that rotate from fully vertical to fully horizontal in level flight, and two in the front behind the canards smaller in size and retractable during forward flight. Conversely, in this video, we also show the aerodynamic braking from 60 miles per hour to hovering in less than 10 seconds and the vectoring down of the rear EDFs. The yaw is controlled only from the throttle and the swivel angle of the thrusters. These controls are the equivalent of using the FPS with the difference that in the J2000 the compressor airflow to the thrusters will be used to change the thrust. On a related project, when we tested the hover platform with the FPS, we obtained very good yaw authority and swivel mechanism work very well. Engine throttle and a combination of valves downstream of the compressor as well as the vectoring angle can be used to fully control the attitude of the aircraft. The flight included multiple maneuvers that demonstrate the unique capabilities of the aircraft, such as VTOL, hover, transitions to and from forward flight, rotation in hover with yaw control, GPS landing, and many other, including the simulation of the first aid parcel delivery. So, four years ago, for the first time, we have demonstrated fully autonomous flight, conducted by an all-electric, vertical takeoff and landing unique architecture. There was no pilot controlling the aircraft as the missions were uploaded to the aircraft using a simple iPad. The mission was operated with a push of a button and you can even see how the autopilot adjusted the aircraft position in hover for the correct landing zone or controlled a high speed pass at 100 miles per hour. We are working on many more exciting developments and cannot wait to share them with you. Learn more at the link below.